see that you need another chicho food auction i remember almost winning that jar of chicho jam. oh no see that we'll do it uh, next year again guaranteed guaranteed john's like i got some organic keto bites nice are they good are they salty the real mc my uh claws dinner kd macaroni and cheese is that what you're eating mc mike mc mike eat healthier <laughs> macaroni and cheese that's not the best food to eat don't do it brother even though you can make some nice healthy macaroni cheese alternatives right that's like macaroni and cheese and this sausage is not the healthiest thing in the world either don't get me wrong Oh, see that you weren't here for the auction. Well, only pig is saying there has been one of one a few weeks ago. Actually, plenty of amazing chicho goodies again this this year. Yeah, I thought you were there. See that all the packages are out except two. One of them, person sent me the wrong address. I couldn't mail it. it they wouldn't take it. And another one, someone has to send me their address. Plutonic pluralist a chicho pullover master cooking show <laughs> we got to do a cooking stream soon the zanzak they're like mm, mushba is the branding they taste good though they taste good yeah macaroni and cheese does taste good but not the healthiest food to eat all the time all got chicho pizza cooking stream yeah 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 i've made home pizza before super delicious home pizza is the best pizza usually unless you find a place that makes really good pizza see that do they still teach about the four food groups according to that pizza was the healthiest <laughs> i've heard that before they said they would, they would say pizza is the healthiest because it's got your carbs the crust it's got veggies you can put veggies in there it's got cheese dairy and you can put meat on it right so it's a full meal deal i guess Pawn, I'm eating lamb, bread, and cheese. Nice. Wow. Every day before I go to Asia, I always get homesick for Western food. So get the gluttonous before I leave. Nice, nice. Yeah, if you know uh, you're going to go spend somewhere where you can't get some of your food. I do that a little bit too. But usually when I visit family and stuff now, I go gluttonous, eat food, food. Build a little, build a little layer on top. Uh, a little bit a little bit asian food is amazing though some of it depending where you go lonely piggy we definitely need a chicho cooking stream when time and everything else allows yeah indeed lonely piggy i miss them i love the cooking streams man i love the cooking streams i've been cooking a lot just haven't been able to set it up so uh we can do uh john zuck add some pineapple and you get your your fruit i used to like having pineapple pizza um, not so much anymore maybe a little bit maybe a little bit i haven't had one for a long time though plutonic pluralis i like that science is quite diverse on diet uh nurture paleo non-paleo keto low carb low fat low sugar not low sugar meatless mainly meat diet etc yeah joe chicho there is a theory that marco polo brought pasta back from china no idea if it's true i think it's true joe i think it is true i think pasta originally is from china okay cheryl chicho have you ever made halva uh, not halva but i make we take we take tahini uh, well you've seen the tahini uh tahini and honey or maple syrup mix it up um but i've never made hard halva before i someone told me the recipe once um actually there is a type of halva that family makes that i i need to make it's really good i love it but it's just butter butter and uh sugar and flour so what you do you take if i remember uh, correctly you take flour you heat up the flour and then 
you keep on mixing it because flour will burn you, and it's in a pot if i recall correctly and then you put butter and you add sugar and you mix it mix it mix it mix it and you just constantly you have to keep on mixing it if you let it sit for even a minute it'll burn in the bottom right uh, like and it's low heat right so you're mixing the flour and the butter and the sugar there might be some spice in there too i'll have to ask my mom and then once it's all mixed nicely it takes a little bit of time and then you lay it out flat in trays and then let it cool and when it cools it hardens up and it tastes amazing it's so good so good it's an armenian recipe by the way and uh one of the versions of it is for funerals armenians make it as well but they just don't add the sugar so it's not sweet halva they call it halva we call it halva it's not sweet it doesn't have the sweetness uh, personally i don't i like the sweetness if i'm at a funeral and we're eating food uh, you know food is a huge part of funerals uh, in many cultures if you're eating food i rather the food taste good instead of reminding me uh, by not being sweet if it was meant to be sweet that i'm at a funeral because i'm at a funeral i already know i'm at a funeral right now i'm hungry all the concepts <laughs> joe chicho every time i make a cake i always lose about a quarter of the cake mix by eating it raw nice nice chicho in my opinion it tastes better than the cake um the possibly possibly and cookies cookie doughs um I do as well when I'm making cake, uh, but not quarter of it, not by a long shot. A uh, couple of spoonfuls, uh, tablespoonfuls or more maybe. And I usually eat it without the egg in there because you put egg in the cake. So uh, before I add the eggs to the batter, I eat the batter a little bit, taste it, especially with chocolate chips. Mm. 